my dears and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Pamela and I put out beauty related videos like once or twice a week. Today's video is my Ipsy bag. Now I have already looked at it because obviously I am wearing everything that is in this bag. I am not doing a try on, but I will demonstrate how I used every one of these products today in this video. Spoiler alert, I was pleasantly surprised as to what I got this month. I get a lot of comments asking me about why or how I get such good products every single month. And and I'm gonna tell you exactly what it is that I do every month that I feel like is working for me. It might be nothing, but uh, this is just what I do every month. And for some reason, every month, I really, really like what they have sent to me in these bags. So what I'll do is obviously I'll review all of my products because I wanna, you know, collect those points or whatever to redeem on, you know, other products in the future. And then after I do that, I go back into my profile, my beauty profile or whatever, and I change things up. I do that every single month. I don't know, like I said, if that's like a hack or anything like that, it's just what I've done. And for some reason, they just keep surprising me with good stuff every month. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started on this. Um, every month, this thing comes with a card. Oh, I never read it. But I really like the bag this month and I love Ipsy bags. Like I'm probably one of the few who like actually utilizes all of them. I don't have any fancy like vanity or table that I do my makeup on. Everything sits on my uh, bathroom sink counter. So uh, what I've done with these bags is I literally like to separate my items in bags. So like all of my primers are in one. I love these bags. I always tend to use them and um, this one in particular is so damn cute like these eyelashes are super cute um i did get an extra product because i redeemed some points this is a winky lux uh holographic highlighter and i'll be honest when i redeemed my points for this i don't think it said that i just think it said like um highlighter and it was like in a champagne color so i think i got scammed on this because i would have never picked up a holographic highlighter holographic highlighters are just not my thing i feel like they tend to pull more on like the purple pink side and i do have it on today and you can't really see too much of that but i just i don't really like i said care for that i'm more of a like champagne or like golden highlight kind of girl but this is all right i guess it looks white in the pan but once you swatch it um still looks white it does have a little bit of that like pink like pink purple reflex and although it doesn't look chunky or glittery and the formula is top notch again it's just not not something that i would wear it just makes it look a little bit on the gray side for me but on the face it doesn't look too terrible if you ask me and i did spend some time you know buffing that in but i don't think i'll ever you know wear this again or anything like that i may end up just passing this to my six-year-old daughter to play with because i usually give her like little things like that to play around with so now for the actual products that are in my bag the first thing i want to talk about which i have already used is the creme shop double cleanse two-in-one facial foam it's a daily cleanser and makeup remover if you want more information it's paraben free dermatologist tested cruelty free so wonderful it's a korean um company i believe and this is a really really good size it's like a really nice travel friendly size but i'm pretty sure i'm gonna get about three months worth of use because usually the smaller sample sizes that i get from ipsy uh always last at least one or two months so I really love that size and I love getting cleansers in these bags. I haven't purchased cleanser in a really, really long time. So I en always enjoy at least one to two skincare products in my bag. So loving that this product I got, which, oh my gosh, I'm so excited that I got this. Like when I saw the sneak peeks on my subscription addiction, I was like, please let me get that. Please let me get that. Please let me get that. And that is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. Again, what are the odds of getting it? This sample size is fantastic fantastic like there is enough product in here for me to use at least two or three times and i think that'll give me a good idea if i want to purchase something like this it comes with a little lid it has a little pump it's it's too like cute and like i said the size is perfection so i did use this today before my makeup and i will say i went in with a powder foundation and i think it looks really really good it felt so lightweight so moisturizing um definitely don't think it did much for my pores to be honest because i could still see a little bit of texture but like i said i did go in with a powder foundation so it could be the powder foundation that has done that um but other than that i i really really like it and i'm kind of 
a little bit bummed, but you know, whatever, that I like it because it's kind of an expensive product. If I'm not mistaken, the full size of this retails for $32 and I don't know if I can get on board with that, to be honest, but love it. Love that I got a sample of that and it's just, it's so great. Moving on to the next product, I got blush from the company called Doucet. It is a cheek blush. This is a beautiful, beautiful color. Um, the only thing that I will say I'm disappointed is that the back of this isn't magnetic, so it's not gonna sit in one of my magnetic palettes unless I add a magnet to it. I do love this color and I think the size is perfect because you'll never finish, you know, a blush in this size. I've been really digging these mauve tones and so this is just beautiful and it builds up really, really nice. Like I said, I have it on my cheeks and I'm gonna do two layers so that you could really see it. It has a tiny bit of sheen, so it's not a completely matte um, blush or anything like that, but it looks beautiful. Like I said, I have that on and I did top it with something else, but I really, really, really like this a lot. Okay, so in the next the next thing in my bag, not my favorite thing in the bag, um, and I'll show you why in a minute. This is the Hanalei Matte Bronzer. Now the shade is fantastic. I love getting like a cool tone bronzer sometimes because it helps with contouring, but look at how messy this is. This is just from using it today. Like today was the first time I ever used this. It's a very powdery formula, but the color is all right. It is a little bit light for me. Um, it is very creamy though. And like I said, it's a very, very cool tone, like a very cool tone bronzer. It's right here and actually swatched on my wrist. It kind of looks a little muddy on me, but it's not terrible. Um, I don't think that I will use it again, to be honest. This may just be something again that I throw at my six-year-old to play around with because I let her play around with some of my little ipsy samples here but the the thing that killed it for me the most was this 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 powderiness like it's just so powdery i i think it's so messy and i just i don't i don't like that and i usually don't care for things like that you know i don't care that it's messy but it's just it's too much for me i don't know and the last thing i got in my bag is this trustique um mini lip glaze in the shade mumbai magenta i don't like anything in a magenta color but this really surprised me when i swatched this i was like oh oh okay it's definitely like a magenta blue you could actually see the blue undertone when i turn it this way but it's very very sheer so i feel like if i just you know put a little bit of like chapstick on and then just maybe dab a little bit of this for like a little bit of color it would look really really pretty i don't have it on today because i have this you know very like dark brown smoky eye look that i wanted to pair with the nude lip but i'm not mad at it i'm just not a big fan of magenta and i feel like i will get a little bit of use out of it i may even just stick it in like my diaper bag for just a little bit of like color um when i feel like i need a little bit of color or whatever but it's a very moisturizing formula i wish i would have gotten the other color because i think the other color was a little bit more on the nude side and just would have fit me a little bit better other than that it's fun to experiment with color sometimes like my friend tati always says like you know don't knock it till you try it or whatever Whatever. So I, I don't mind it, but like I said, I just don't gravitate towards magenta colors. So overall, I will say that out of the six products, because I actually got six, you know, only two were not so great. And this one only failed in my point because of the fact that it's so powdery. But other than that, everything in my bag was absolutely awesome. I never get let down by Ipsy. I think I'm one of the like few people that just like always loves everything that I get. I just think it's such a great uh, subscription. You know, I don't like full size products because can you imagine getting stuck with a full size of this bronzer and just like hating it every time that you like go into it? I don't know if anybody else thinks like me, but that's why I love the sample sizes. I think it's a great deal and you always just get a very cute bag. And like I said, I utilize my bags very, very well. So uh, yeah, if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and spread my love for makeup. And I will see you guys later this week. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.